State lawmakers are looking to reduce the amount of power city and county leaders have. House Bill 2127 has stirred up quite a bit of controversy. Supporters say it ensures cities and counties still retain their authority to address local concerns, but it protects businesses. Tyler Dupnick joins us now to see how we would be impacted here in West Texas if it passes. Tyler. Yeah, yeah, Crystal, I haven't really, in my information that I've gathered, it doesn't look like it's going to impact West Texas very much, not Midland, Odessa, or any of the other areas here in the Permian Basin. Now, however, with the transient nature of this area, it should be a benefit to travelers. Um, I don't think that there would be a single uh, city in West Texas that would be impacted by this, but those of us who live in West Texas who are going to be, you know, traveling, uh, you know, if you want to go to a Rangers game in Arlington, we want to make sure that we have a, a uniform set of laws that apply all the way uh, from Odessa to Arlington. And, and we don't want you to have to have, you know, a thousand different laws on the way there. House Bill 2127, or the Regulatory Consistency Act, looks to create alignment and consistency in the state of Texas. It's designed to make sure that we have uniform laws that apply all across the state and we don't have individual cities that are kind of going off on a limb uh, and creating a patchwork of different regulations all throughout the state. So we want to have, for the most part, uh, one set of rules that apply all across Texas. Landgraf said this bill will mainly affect the cities that are going outside the bounds of their normal role, with Midland and Odessa not in that category. Cities like Odessa, Midland, and uh, Monahans, other other cities in our area haven't really been getting out ahead of their skis on any of these issues. Uh, we have seen other cities like Austin, for example, the city of Dallas, that are trying to perform a state function at the local level, and that's creating a patchwork. So, uh, really, if you know cities that were just kind of doing their jobs in the first place, this really won't have an impact on them. It's the ones who are you know getting outside of their lane that I think are the ones who are going to see uh, that are going to see an impact. He noted that local governments will still have plenty of responsibility. In addition to travel benefits, it is also expected to help business. Uh, it's also good for business because a business can operate in our state, job creators can operate in our state, knowing that there is going to be a uniform set of rules that applies uh, regardless of what of what city you're in. So I think this is, uh, this is good for consistency, it's good for business, and it's good for the traveling public. Now, Landgraf told me that this bill will rein in the type of local government that restricts freedom and liberty. He also mentioned in our conversation that the bill has actually passed both the Senate and now the House as well, and he expects it to be signed by Governor Abbott soon. It would go into effect as soon as September 1st. Crystal.